Hello lovies, welcome back. Tomorrow is September 1st, so that means a new layout in the bullet journal. And for this month, I'm gonna be basing my spreads off of my fall stickers. I just love them. This one is Welcome Autumn. I just think it is so cute. And then my other one is Fall Critters, and that's kind of more what I'm basing my fall um, bullet journal spread off of because I just love those foxes. They are so darn cute. I had so much fun with this. I kind of made them more cartoony and whimsical and just had fun with them. I just think they're adorable. That's my personal opinion, but I do. And if you are interested in having a set of your own, please become a lovey Patreon. My Patreon link will be down below. Please check it out. I have a whole bunch of new stuff on there for the changing seasons. And now I'm just showing you the beautiful washi that I'll be using throughout this layout. Believe it or not, those bottom two came from the Dollar Tree. Are they not gorgeous or what? And the little fox one I got from AC Morse and I love the color pairing. I love how that all came out and I was like, I cannot believe I got those two washies from the Dollar Tree. Go girl. But anyways, I'm going to also try Distressed Crayons from Tim Holtz in my bullet journal this month. Going to change it up a little and of course, my loyal goes to the dual brush pens by Tombow. <laughs> I always use those. So those are pretty much what I'm using in my bullet journal for the month of September. I'm really excited. I think it turned out really cute. I hope you guys think so too. And of course I sped the video up because if not you'd be here with me for a little over an hour. <laughs> so it's sped up. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. Um, but I love how my, my intro page turns out here. I just kind of took the theme of those foxes and I didn't want the, it to look exactly like the stickers. I wanted to do something a little different. So I had one little fox who's sitting down and another little fox who's kind of like standing. So I thought, well, the next little pose it could be in is on its back. <laughs> and I just went for it. And I personally sketch out all of my layouts before I you know, commit and put it to pen. I am so amazed with the YouTubers that I watch that just take a blank page in their bullet journal, get a pen, and go for it. I think that would give me absolutely anxiety because what happens if I don't like it and I always mess up or something of that nature? So I know it's double work to sketch all that out and then, you know, redraw it, so to speak. But for me, <laughs> it's almost like a necessity because I have to see if I like it before I commit. So whatever works for you guys, just do it. This happens to work for me. So I really think she turned out really cute. And of course, my animals, they always have to have a flower crown. That's just like one of my staples when I draw animals. Like you gotta have something in your hair. <laughs> and I'm obsessed at this moment with mushrooms. I think I've mentioned that before. So I wanted my layout to kind of look a little folly, if that is a word, but I didn't want to go overboard because it is still September and we're still not in the you know full fall swing here. You know, there's days in September where it feels like more like summer than it did summer. <laughs> So I just wanted to give a little taste. So I know I got out of frame there. I was wiping off all the little eraser marks. That's the other pain that you go through when you sketch everything out is after you erase it, it's like eraser crumbles everywhere. But I think it looks really cute. I really like it. And I am really excited because I decided to step out of my own little box a little bit. And I'm actually gonna be doing some watercoloring in my, my bullet journal. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to like this or not, but I just took a leap and decided to do it to bring some color to the fox. And that's when I use the, um, oh my goodness, the crayons by Tim Holtz. And you'll see when I get there, they're, they look like a crayon. And when you put it on paper, it kind of looks like a crayon. But when you add water to it, it, it does. It turns into like this beautiful like watercolor. They work beautifully. I have never used a distress crayon ever. Here it is. I've never used one. This was all brand new to me. I got my little water pen um, paintbrush out and I went for it and look how beautiful. Like it, they, they 
the color, if that's the word to use. Um, really, really nice. And of course, this is the first time ever doing watercolor in my bullet journal. I was a little nervous about how it was going to make the paper and if it was going to warp and everything like that. But I just took a deep breath and I did it and I liked it. So I encourage anyone out there who feels like they're kind of doing the same things over and over again in their bullet journal to just take a leap of faith and try something new. And with that comes new joy. It, it brings new life to something that you're doing monthly. And that's really why I make these videos just to keep people and myself encouraged because I watch a ton of these myself on YouTube to keep myself encouraged to keep going because sometimes these become very repetitive and um, you can get bored with it. If you're anything like me, I get bored with things very easy. So I have to keep it fresh and new. So this was a great way to keep my bullet journaling very fresh and new. And another way to keep your bullet journal very fresh and new, which you're going to see here very shortly, I'm going to kind of pre-talk about it before you actually see it on the screen, is that I um, changed up my layout a little bit for my bullet journal. Instead of doing mood trackers and habit trackers this month, I eliminated them. I have done them pretty much every month since I've been bullet journaling, which is way over a year. And I'm a little bored with that as well. So I thought, well, you know what? This month is going to be um, pretty much, I'm pretty much gonna be home doing one thing, which is I need to write. So instead of putting those trackers in, I eliminated that page and I put in it, a different kind of tracker, which happens to be a very big page for um, my writing. I have to get my third book to my trilogy out by the end of this year and it's like rapidly approaching. So I have to get it done and edited and into the publisher by the end of this year. So I am working very hard on that. On top of that, I also have a whole nother idea for another book series and I'm trying to work on that as well. I switch back and forth between the two. Hopefully that'll be out by early spring of next year. So that's really what my focus is. So that's why I eliminated the other trackers and I focused on that one. And then my bullet journal also is much larger than normal bullet journals. If you've been with me, you know that I explained, I picked this up at Target and it's actually a sketchbook. So it's larger than normal bullet journals. So because my pages are so large, instead of taking one page for one thing, for instance, like my book club, um, I actually take my pages and I split them in half. It just works for me because I feel like what I'm doing on that page kind of gets lost because it's so large. So instead of making it look weird and just trying to fill in blank space, I just kind of cut my paper, my page in half and um, like the top will have Patreon and the bottom will have book club or whatever it may be. So that's also a way that I kind of eliminate pages and it may not be fun, you know, may not be a ton of pages in my, my, my beginning layout, but it works for me. It works for me. And this is one of the reasons I love bullet journaling because I don't have to follow a format monthly that is the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. I used to do the happy planner like crazy. I loved it. I did it for like two and a half years and I just got so bored with that because I was I was committed to the same exact layout over and over and over again. And for me it just didn't work. And I think that's one of the reasons why bullet journal is great because I can change up what I'm doing from month to month to suit me. There's no format. There's no particular thing I have to do. If I want to eliminate some trackers, I can. If I want to add 15 more trackers than I had from the month before, I can. And that is one of the very freeing, wonderful things about bullet journaling. And it's a place to express all of your creativity and who you are. No one's bullet journal looks the same as the other. And we all have different things. Last month I tracked some, I wasn't even tracking, I just put in there some of my favorite tea recipes, some of my favorite essential oils, and things like that. Things I don't want to forget, things I want to be able to reference back to. I did some Bible journaling in it. I can use this for whatever. So instead of doing weeklies, I can have weekly Bible journals or whatever I want to do. And I feel like I'm rambling. I feel like I'm trying to convince you all <laughs> to do bullet journaling. 
but I'm sure if you're here it's because you do do bullet journaling and you need some you know I watch videos on YouTube for inspiration for encouragement and I hope I'm encouraging you guys and I think my fox is finally done I know this seemed to take forever and I'm just going on and on and on but here we are onto the new pages and as you can see I titled this one daily words this was this is about my books and I just made two big boxes and one is titled faded pages and the other one is retitled return third and those are the books that I'm working on and in each book what I'm gonna do is put bullets and the date and how many words that I wrote or if I wrote full chapters just so I keep a track of what I'm doing because I need to be writing daily and then I'm going to add some of my stickers <laughs> um, I think here I'm going to be adding a pumpkin and I add my little um, stag guy here who's all tangled up in fall leaves I love him I think he's so adorable and then of course I'm gonna bring some color to the page with my um, Tombow brush pens I love it just little teeny tiny pops of color I just I love that and then on the next page here um, this is kind of where I split my page in half and I thought a great way to represent that is with this beautiful washi from the Dollar Tree. I'm still amazed that that washi came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what, I just, I just love it. And I thought because I used the little stag guide down below, I would use the little dough on the other page to kind of tie it together. So the top part will be about Patreon, Patreons, I can talk. And then the bottom page is all about my book club. And then I split the bottom part in half again so that one side is all about like where we meet up because we meet up every Friday night. And then the second half will kind of be about the books that we read for the month of September and how we rated them and liked them. And then my next page, of course, is all about my YouTube. So the top is kind of my YouTube ideas that I would like to get um, videos together for the month of September. And then again, I split the page in half and the bottom part will be about um, my uploads. And then I just put little bullets and write the date and the title of the uploads. And that's how I track how often I'm um, uploading and anything of that nature. So there's that other little beautiful piece of washi I just love that washi I do I can't say enough about that washi because it just amazes me that it came from the Dollar Tree and then my last little page that I'm going to be sharing with you guys over on the other corner is my fall bucket list I thought this would be a great way because it is the beginning instead of waiting till like later in the months to go ahead and just put it right here and then um, as the months the fall months progress I can go in and color in the little acorns that I draw as like the bullets and I achieved those things on my bucket list for the months of fall so I really love how that turned out and my little fall banner squirrely thing there was perfect for that page and then I added the little froggy down at the bottom because I just love her and see I drew a acorn and I put take a hayride so as I put all those fall things in there I will color in the acorns to represent that I did it and I think that's plenty I think it turned out I have plenty more pages to work with if I need to add anything I need to extend a spread and do dailies weeklies monthlies whatever I want to do on the upcoming pages but I really love how this turned out I think it is so cute look at that so cute so so cute and I have lots of space to fill in which is one of the benefits of having a larger book but I also like having a typical um, bullet journal book too they're so cute and compact <laughs> I always go back and forth I'll probably have one I'll probably have two next year you watch but anyways guys I'm rambling thanks so much for joining me I hope the beginning of your fall season is blessed is wonderful is full of pumpkin spice everything I'm looking forward to the changing seasons you guys have a great day thanks for joining me today please check out my patreon page and I will be talking to you for sure in the next video Take care of you. Always do what you love. Bye, guys.